In the Battle of Blood River Port or Sheepers Neck on 17 September 1901 a Boer commando led by Louis Bota crushed a British force commanded by Major Hubert Goff during the Second Boer War. Chapter 1 – Background In August 1901, the Boer leaders determined to send forces south into Natal and the Cape Colony hoping to cause an uprising in the Dutch-majority Cape Colony or at least, to gain recruits for their armies. Accordingly, a commando under Bota moved southeast toward Natal while another commando under Jan Smuts raided south into the Cape Colony. British intelligence detected the plan, but Bota evaded the British intercepting columns. The cold spring rains made the march especially difficult for the Boers' horses. On 14 September, Bota let his 1,000-man commando camp near Utrecht to permit the horses to recover. Meanwhile, Goff's 24th Mounted Infantry made a 500-mile move by train from Kronstadt in the Orange Free State to Dundee in Natal. Goff received intelligence that Bota and 700 Boers were nearby. Chapter 2 – Battle Goff led his me from Dundee to De Jaeger's Drift, a ford on the Buffalo River. Dismissing the intelligence report as exaggerated, he led three companies on a reconnaissance across the river. Through his field glasses, he spotted 300 Boers who dismounted at a farm near Blood River Port. Leaving his colleague Lieutenant Colonel H.K. Stewart with 450 me in the rear, Goff moved forward into a plain in the early afternoon, planning to surprise the Boers at the farm. Unknown to Goff, Bota was moving around his right flank with 700 men. Bota's mounted attack completely swamped Goff's outnumbered force. Lieutenant Llewellyn Price Davis of the King's Royal Rifle Corps won the Victoria Cross for valiantly defending the field guns. Goff was captured, escaped, captured again and finally escaped on foot in the darkness. On the British side, four officers and 19 other ranks were killed or mortally wounded, two officers and 19 men wounded, and six officers and 235 men captured. According to Boer policy, the captured were stripped of their weapons and any useful gear, and most of their clothing, and were allowed to walk to the nearest British post. The Boers seized two field guns, 180 rifles and a large quantity of small arms ammunition. The 200 captured horses turned out to be in poor condition and of little use to the raiders. Boer losses were light. Chapter 3 – Aftermath Bota was unable to exploit his victory because he found all the crossings of the Buffalo River blocked by the British. The Boers moved to the southeast, hoping to find a place to cross into Natal. On the Zululand border, Bota attacked a British camp named Fort Itala, believing it to be weakly defended. Instead, the Boers received a bloody nose when 56 of their men were killed or wounded. When Bota realized that British forces were approaching in overwhelming strength, he turned back into the Transvaal, his raid a failure. Chapter 4 – Sources Stephen Badzi Doctrine and Reform in the British Cavalry 1880-1918 Ashgate Publishing, Limited ISBN 07546-6467-8 Pakenham, Thomas the Boer War. New York, Avon Books. ISBN 0387 2019.